demonstration we're going to be uh, showing you how to access the uh, EE prom, the double E prom in Subaru body integrated unit or in this case units. You can see from the uh, overhead camera we have two and the reason we have two is because Subaru changed the uh, package type in the um, on the circuit assembly uh, from a, uh, a standard SOIC, which is a normal uh, surface mount double E prom that you would typically encounter, to another package called an MSOP. Okay, MSOP um, stands for uh, Micro Small Outline Package, and believe me, it's appropriately named. So let me just go ahead. I'm going to open these up. I'm not going to have you watch me struggle with getting the clips off, so I'm going to pause this and then get to take these out of their their cases and show you the two different assemblies. Okay, so here's the uh, the first one that we're going to examine. This one uh, is out of a uh, 2013 Impreza, and let's just go ahead and slide the assembly out of the case and set the case aside, and I'll show you where the double E prom is. Double E prom is right here. And it's a uh, 24 CO2 or 24 LCO2, basically the same part. And I'm gonna zoom in so we can get a better look at it. Okay, so uh, once again, part is right here. This uh, particular part has a, uh, a dimple in the upper left hand corner. So pin one is going to be right here. And this should be relatively easy to access. I'm going to use the AccuTouch probe and um, we're going to go ahead and uh, go through the uh, AR setup file as we've done in the past so you can see how that works. So let me get our software started and um, we'll go ahead and, and then continue. Okay, here's our software running again. Um, I just went ahead and uh, we're at the device selection table. And as I've done before, um, I'm going to select the uh, an incorrect part, on 3C56. And I'm going to go to, we're going to use the AR setup file in order to set up the, um, the adapter correctly on the, on the programmer. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Select the uh, path command. We're going to go over to Locksmith. Going to press Enter. Going to go to the librarian by pressing L. We're going to go to AR Setup 1, which is where we are pointing now, and look at the top line Acura, Audi, BMW. We do not see Subaru. So let's move over to AR Setup 2. Zuzu, Jaguar, Mazda, Mercedes, Nissan, Porsche, Saab, and Subaru. So this is where we want to be working. We're going to press Enter. We're going to go down till we find Subaru. So, Mercedes, Mercedes, Nissan, Porsche, Saab, Saab, and Subaru, right here. Okay, these are all the vehicles that these modules uh, are are used in. Um, the Emo ID is body integrated unit BIU, and the adapter, as uh, is normally the case, is the in circuit adapter ASRSM1A. The voltage is set to uh, LV 3.0. Plug position is right on 24XX and the four position dip switch is down, 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 up. Part number is 24C02 and we're going to go ahead and let the uh, librarian automatically um, select the part for us by pressing F6 and you'll see the librarian will say device type updated and now we are done using the librarian and all we have to do now is go back and we're going to read the information from the uh, double E prom in the BIU and you can see the part number here has been changed to 24C02. Okay here we are back at the, um, the programming unit and we're going to uh, attach, I'm going to use the AccuTouch probe for this simply because it's easier. But first, let's set up the, um, the in-circuit adapter so that you can see uh, how that's done. So we're going to set the switch to LV 3.0. The dip switch was 1, 2, and 3 down and 4 up. 
remember down, 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 up. And the uh, Acutech Pro plug is going on the 24XX header, which is right there. And here's the Acutech Pro with its red dot. So now we're going to uh, go ahead and read the information from the uh, 24 CO2 on the BIU. Okay, we're back at the BIU. Put the take you the Accutech probe, put it over the top of the part, push down, switch over to the computer display, go to the buffer editor, press G, and there's the data from the BIU. Okay, at this point, as always, we're going to uh, clear the information display. We're going to um, exit. We're going to go to the path command. We're going to set our path pointer to conversion. Press enter. We're going to save the file. We'll just do this from the main command list. We're going to press A and we're going to call this uh, BIU1. Okay, dot bin. The reason I'm calling it BIU1 is because this is the first BIU. All right, the one with the uh, other part, the little MSOP part, uh, we're going to call that one BIU2, but I'm not going to name it till after we do the save here. So we're going to press enter, press yes, file save complete. Let's double check it. And yeah, there is BIU1.bin right there. Okay, so that's how we uh, just access that uh, double A problem in this particular BIU. So now let me get the other BIU and I'll show you how we deal with this little teeny weeny uh, MSOP EE problem. Okay, here's the second um, BIU and I'm going to take the cover off and I want to just set the cover aside so you can see. Um, maybe a little trick that will help you out. Let's take the, the assembly out of the case and I'm going to point to the EE prom. On this assembly, which is the same part as a 24CO2, but it's labeled LO2 because uh, in this case, I don't know, that's all they could probably squeeze onto this little package. But there's the double EEPROM right there. Okay, and again, it's oriented so that it's got a little teeny dimple in this corner, but the MSOP parts are so tiny, they are a nightmare to connect to. So I wanted to show you the, the uh, solution that uh, that uh, we came up with in order to uh, attach to it in this particular uh, configuration. So let me zoom in so you can get a better look at the actual size of this part. Okay, there we are really close to the part and I'm going to show you its size based on the pencil. Okay, here's the pencil lead and you remember what, how the size of the pencil with respect to the other part. You can see that this one is incredibly small and incredibly difficult to connect to and if you were choosing to unsolder it, um, it's a challenge. So what happened was we were uh, asked if there was another way that we could um, connect to this part without removing it from the circuit assembly. So let me show you what we came up with to do that. Okay, this is what we call the uh, Subaru BIU probe set. It is speci specifically designed to um, connect to the uh, BIU circuit assembly, but it's not actually physically connected to uh, the part itself. What we have uh, done is come up with a, uh, uh, a connection mechanism by which you, uh, you, all you have to do are connect the points on the circuit assembly where uh, the necessary communication signals are located. So let me show you what's in the, the box. We have the BIU probe set and the, the points to which you connect on the circuit assembly. There's a laminated card in here which shows basically, uh, get the glare off of it, how to hook this up. Okay, so you locate the points on the, on the uh, circuit assembly and you put on um, two surface mount probes and two pen probes and then you'll be able to work with this in circuit. So that's included with your Subaru BIU probe set put that back in the case and set that aside and this is the actual probe set you've got a, a white and black 
probe, white and black probes. And then you have what we call pin probes. Okay, and the pin probes are literally that. They're, they're pins which you will insert into the, uh, the holes on the circuit assembly that are uh, shown in, on the card. And then you'll attach these probes to a couple of points on the uh, circuit assembly where um, we uh, apply the necessary uh, power to the module. So let me go ahead and uh, get that set up and I'll show you um, how that's done. Okay, a trick that you can do um, is to use the case as a support for the module. I mean, if you can show you how to do that, you're going to just take the cover, snap it back onto the case, and then you can take the uh, BIU circuit assembly and you can stick its connector in this opening on the top and it will hold it for you. So in this case, oh, no pun intended, you are now ready to attach the, um, the Subaru probe set to the assembly itself. So I'm gonna do that and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, read the data from, uh, from the little MSOP part. Okay, I switched to the handheld camera to give you a better view. The uh, the blue pin probe is connected to a point on the circuit assembly, which is identified on the card that we provide, and then the uh, white and black surface mount probes are hooked to uh, two points on the uh, corner of what is probably a test connector that was provided uh, for testing this assembly by the manufacturer. So the blue probe is there, and let me show you where the green probe goes. Okay, the green probe is, uh, again, pushed into a point on the uh, opposite side of the circuit assembly. And this is all you need to do in order to access the, uh, the points. And now we're going to, to go ahead and um, read the, uh, the contents of the little teeny weeny MSOP EEPROM um, into, uh, into the system. So let me uh, switch back to the uh, computer and we'll do that. Okay, before I go to the computer, um, this is what it looks like from the overhead camera. So you can see the green probe is pushed into a, a point in the back and the blue probe is pushed into a point in the front and the uh, white and black probes are hooked to uh, two points on the, um, the test connector. So uh, now we're going to go to back to the, uh, the computer and uh, we're going to go ahead and read this part. So let's go back to the computer display. We're still in the uh, conversion directory so we're going to get out of that press escape we're going to go back to command 5 there's the data from the first BIU we'll hit C two times to clear that and now we hit G and there's the data from the second BIU this is right out of the little MSOP part and all we had to do was hook up to four points in order to read that okay so that's literally how easy it is you don't have to unsolder it you don't have to go through any of uh, the grief of trying to uh, connect to that little tiny part with this particular module. So we'll go ahead and save this. Use Command A and the buffer editor to do it this time. We're going to call it BIU2.bin. We're going to press enter and save yes. Okay, so now we have saved this. Go to the directory of files, which is, uh, you can see there's BIU1. And over here is BIU2. So that's all you have to do to read the information out of a, uh, a Subaru body integrated unit module. And um, that pretty much wraps up this video. This is uh, from this point you would do the conversion and put your files into the directory and program them back into the part which is handled uh, and illustrated on our other video. Um, for either the, the comfort module or the, uh, the Saab SIM module, you can see how a conversion works. I'm not going to spend the time here to do that. So that wraps up this video, working with the Subaru BIU. And um, as always, we appreciate you watching. And as always, if you would like to uh, have more information about our products or talk to us about our products, uh, you can get that, uh, uh, contact us from our website. Um, and also, uh, if you uh, appreciate the content, please press the like button. And if you want more of these or would like to see more content like this, you can subscribe to our channel. 
So, as I said, that wraps it up. So, our website is uh, arlabs.com. And as always, we thank you for watching.